Hey everyone, once again there's not really a huge amount of news to talk about this week, but I guess the purpose of these is to write down some thoughts that make people laugh, very much like the Lib Dem Manifesto, so I'll try my best I suppose. One of the stories that did catch my eye was the talk of if and when a vaccine may be developed. Great news, except for the small detail that the doctors are keen to test the vaccine on monkeys first before giving it to humans. The reason this causes me to worry is that, as like most people, I've spent the past couple of weeks watching a lot of movies, and I recently rewatched the Planet of the Apes series in which the humans all die and the monkeys take over the world. That's not a world in which I want to live, though nor is the Omega Man also starring Charlton Heston. He was in Silent Green too, wasn't he? Yeah, I could live with that as long as I stuck to the other colours. Hashtag spoiler alert. A vaccine may one day be developed, but don't bet on it. They never develop one for MERS or for SARS, so I doubt we'll see one anytime soon for the Chinese virus. And the truly scary part is that the virus could easily mutate into something new long before the pharmaceutical companies get anywhere close to cashing in on it. Sad news indeed for both Glaxo shareholders as well as people who come at it more from the angle of having, quote, empathy. Here's a good one for you. What's the difference between apathy and empathy? Don't know, don't care. Back to cashing in though, London Transport certainly aren't shy of cashing in on things as fast as they can in a three-part story which I initially assumed was a satirical piece. Part one, they put out a press release encouraging some people to drive to work in order to make the trains safer for key workers. Part two, they're already in talks to get a bailout due to the lost revenue. Part three, and this is the kicker, they decide to cash in on it by upping the congestion charge to £15 in order to make sure that those drivers we just mentioned are left out of pocket. It makes your blood pressure rise really. That's largely because I've been doing a fitness regime listening to 1970s progressive rock, meaning that I largely just stand completely still for three hours. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.